Right folks, it's the first day of spring, March the 21st, 2023. It's turned out to be a nice sunny day. Birds are twittering, I've come up. I cheated, I got the bus up, up through town. And I'm going to walk the lower coastal landscaped pathway in the opposite direction to what I did a couple of months ago. All right, so, but I've come up, I can't, got off the bus down the bottom there, climbed up the steps, this entrance. I'm not going up to the fort. I will be coming out on the lower coastal path at the base of the fort, but I'm not going up. It's quite muddy here, look. Very muddy. And I know why it's extra muddy. They had orienteering going on. And uh, they had a lot of people. They had a lot of people um, wandering about, running about, families following them. And uh, as a result of that, it's churned up the mud a bit. But here we are. It's supposed to be the best day of the week. There could be light showers. Um, so I've been doing a lot of tree work. The bad weather has actually always helps me do lots and lots of tree work. Uh, family tree work. And what it is at the moment... I've got 3,000 videos many of which are family tree related. I don't know how long YouTube had the facility for web links. Probably a long time, but I don't know how long since Ancestry included it on their site. It's a way of us sharing with people videos that we've done. Videos that are family tree related, like visiting a graveyard, a church, a village, a town, a castle, a cathedral. So what I'm busy doing, and it takes time. Some of the, lots of these videos, I've got the web links already created, but I've also got an awful lot of footage that I never shared to YouTube. So I'm trying to get the stuff done that's already on shared to my tree, the relevant stuff. Some stuff is relevant, but the quality in the early days wasn't very good. Right? It wasn't very good. And what that means is that it's still important. And the narration is always usually very good, but sometimes the, the video or the photos are a bit not so good because I had very basic cameras in those days not the Instamatic cameras they always had really good photos but some of the early cameras that I used and then of course the development YouTube's development sometimes did something to the original quality that I'd used so um That, that was one issue. But that is a big job that I'm doing. Now, I, I, it could have been around for ages and I just didn't notice it. When I noticed it was when somebody else had put a web link on their tree. And I thought, wow, I could do that. And of course, you know what that means now. I'm doing it, but it's taking me a while. Right, I'm just turning off for a minute. It's a nice carry on. Feature. This is video two on the 21st of March 2023. I've got a feeling it's my girl, my nephew, one of my nephew's birthday today, and he'll be 70, uh, 61. He's 10 years younger than me. I was a very young aunt, you see. I mean, his sister's only nine years young, eight or not. not 
eight or nine years, no, she's eight years younger than me, his sister. She's my niece. <coughs> so they're catching me up, you know. I think I'll undo my coat. I've got a winter coat on. I've taken the scarf. I didn't bring the hat. But it can be so changeable. You could get over the north side of the wood now and it could get cold. I don't normally wear this coat up here actually. I normally wear my green wax jacket. But because it might rain, this is more waterproof than the wax jacket, believe it or not. So it's not worth me risking getting wet. So this is, uh, but it's it's too hot for a it's too hot for a um, it's not one of those coats though where you sweat inside. That's the one good thing about this one. You don't sweat inside. I mean, I've got I've had raincoats where you drip inside and you're as wet out. Inside is outside. So when I got this one, which is a winter waterproof coat, it's not what I call exactly over warm. Um, but then you can always, with these, you can put a nice big thick jumper on and a scarf and two t-shirts and you're fine. Just put extra thin layers underneath. And it's got me through some of the winter, this coat. The other one, the wax one's good when it's not raining. It's never really kept the rain out properly. So here we are at the junction, we're at the water tower. It's a beautiful day. I can hear the birds twittering. And at this end, there's not quite any sign of clearing. But as you progress further, you'll come across the clearers and the destruction. That's what happens up there. I'm not going that way today. I'm going down the broad track, trying to avoid the puddles. And I'm going to follow the lower coastal path in the opposite direction of what I did before Christmas sometime. And I'm doing it at this time of year because... I might possibly do it again in the summer when it's all green and lush, but you get a lot more people. Weekends and the, any, very soon you'll get more and more people on it. Whereas today I can go along videoing. I can go along videoing, hear the birds. That's what I'm doing, folks. I don't know whether to tuck, tuck my trousers into my... I'll see what it's like going down the other path. I might have to tuck in, otherwise my trousers are going to be very dirty by the time I get to the Tesco's. Little Robin just popped his little head down there. There's another one. They'll be twittering away saying, this is our territory, Sheila. Yeah, I can see you. I can see you, little Robin. Well, you could be a dunnock. Or a female Robin. They don't have the red breasts, see? They're pairing up, making... Oh no, that's a little robin. And I don't expect I'll get it in. Don't know if I will or not. There it is, there, I think. There it is. Oh, he's gone now. Gone onto the road. Don't know if that came out or not. 
So here we are, this is lovely woods with these big trees. I wouldn't be surprised if that one ain't got bats in it, that one. The woodpecker, the woodpeckers make the holes and when they finish the, the bats get in. Or they get in through old wood that is easy to penetrate. Because it's dead really. I do have to be careful going downhill. It can be slippery. But it's very, very wet. And there's been some rain. And there's more rain to come, which is good. See how boggy it is down there, look. Right, I'm going to turn off now and take some photos. Right then, here we go. I don't know if the other's recorded. I can't remember if I pressed the red button properly. But I'm going down the main pathway, bridle path, whatever you want to call it, towards Sand Bay. Sand Bay and the ocean's over there, the beaches over there. I'm not doing Sand Bay today. I'm en route. This could be the third or fourth video. I'm en route for the lower path. Now, when it's dry conditions and I haven't recovered and I want I'm not recovering from a broken wrist. There's a path I take and I would go down, but it is extremely dodgy and steep. So what I tend to do today is go down further rather than try and plow down there to get to where the boys have got their bike humps and bumps. Um, it's, it's just too dodgy. It's, look how steep that is. There is another path a bit further along that that I might possibly use, actually. Um, I'll just have a look at the state it's in when I get there in a minute. There's another little path that weaves in down that way. And then, I, then I'll join up with the path. So there we go folks, we're out in the woods now. We are expecting rain in a minute. A shower. But I deliberately didn't bring the umbrella. I'm going to buy a smaller one that fits more neatly. Because that umbrella I've got now, it's still pretty good but it's broken. I need to repair it. But it's quite, it's a cumbersome umbrella. But it's very tough. And it really does work. But um, basically I've just thought to myself, buy a small compact one that's light, that'll fit in your rucksack. Now I don't know if you can see, but down through there, there's the boys humps and bumps and the little camp they've made. I need to get down there to pick up my, my route. Sand Bay's all over there, of course. I've done Sand Bay really for this month there's lots and lots I am 80% down on my walks by the way and it's not just due, due to the broken arm it's due to the weather um, and I'm not talking about fierce cold weather and lots of snow no I'm talking about grey, wet, windy um, gloomy it's, we haven't had many days like this some years I put a sun on the calendar for the days we get like this, and they're very rare. Um, whereas in the past, if I look back over the last 16 years at my videos and my walks out, in this time of year, I'm normally up, up on the hills, um, doing all the walks I normally do before the cows are released. I haven't done any of them. I haven't done any of them. The most I've done is Shoot Shelf Hill, which was good, and I enjoyed it. Because there's also unreliable, very unreliable bus services. Although we've got a new service coming in with these green buses. I've got these green buses coming. But it all sounds a bit... I don't know, unpredictable whether they'll ever turn up or anything. So this is a lovely track. I've been doing this walk for a long time. I have walked it a couple times with Zara and once with Georgia and Zara. 
and I've done it with Daisy and Duncan once. I used when they stayed, I would bring them into the wood. Those the young kids. I would take them for some walks, and, and sometimes we walked to Sand Bay. Daisy, had, she was bigger and stronger, so she she could manage it. Amber was never keen on walking. Now here's the turning that I sometimes take but I'm not sure if I'm going to risk it yet. It might be too muddy, too slippery. I might have to go right down to the bottom to pick up the main path, which I don't like doing because it's an extra bit there that you've got to do. This is a path here going past this tree. So I'm just going to have a look. There's another path there. Um, that one looks quite steep, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we'll... I don't like taking risks at the moment with the broken arm, which is mending. If not, we've got to go right down the bottom. What do you think? You've just got to go down to that tree there. Yeah. Right, I'm going to turn off and have a...